Hello guys, it's day 24 of my 30-30-30 journey and konti na lang is mo reach natin yung day 30. Now for my reading tag today, I posted the book Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. And the most interesting I got from there is ito yon. How do you overcome yung limiting beliefs mo? Number one thing, well not necessarily the number one, but one of the things that you can do is ito yon. <laughs> List down all of your disempowering or limiting beliefs. Example one is yung I am na statements like I am lazy, I am not as good as other people. And the yung if then na statement like if I reach out to multi million dollar companies, I will just be stressed or and I will eventually fail. Okay? So yun yung mga example and you list them all down, yung mga limiting or disempowering beliefs mo, and then review them. Okay? And then pick the top two. Pick the top two. Of your most disempowering beliefs and ask yourself the following questions. So, isang unang unang question dun is ito. How is this belief, okay, you pick each, no? How is this belief ridiculous? In what way is this belief ridiculous or absurd? You also ask the question, is the person from whom I got this belief, okay, is that person worth modeling? <laughs> Number uh, number three onwards, ito yun. What will be the ultimate cost to yourself? What will be the ultimate cost to myself? If I continue embracing this belief, in terms of my physical body, in terms of my physical health, in terms of my emotions, my emotional health, what, what, well, <laughs> what will it cost? <laughs> what will it ultimately cost me, okay? So relationships ko, what will it ultimately cost me sa aking finances? What will it ultimately cost me sa aking family and loved ones if I continue to embrace this particular belief? Again, you ask this for every one of the two, top two, na disempowering beliefs mo. Okay, and then make your answer so painful such that you will desire to just get rid of that limiting belief right now. Okay, pain and pleasure para yung key. Now, for my listening slash watching time, I continued on with the Monetization Mastery Part 2 by our very own Charlene Ormo. And what I got from there is very interesting kasi naling ko siya dun sa lagi sinasabi ni JTL, John the Legend Pagolan, <laughs> na choose clients who are 90% already there. Para 10% na lang ang kula, tas easy easy na lang ang life mo. Somehow, medyo, meron akong resistance sa ganun. Kasi yun nga, meron din akong, ganun, <laughs> meron din akong disempowering beliefs um, related to to that, no? Okay? Yung, yung, actually, yung if then statement na example ko, that's, that's, what, that was part of my belief. So, ito yun, ito yung trinay ko kanina na i-exercise, <laughs> I did the exercise ni Tony Robbins dun sa book din niya, okay, on how to overcome it. Anyway, anyway. Yung point na kung ako ko firm chat, okay? Meron siyang sinabi pero hindi ko na hindi ko na masabi ulit. Okay, exactly the way she said it, but it Meron siyang ni Meron siyang tinar on ng mga light bulbs sa utak ko. Okay? So may mga neurons na nag-fire. So, I remember kasi in physics, okay? Meron tayong tinatawag na friction, okay? Frictional force. And it will oppose motion. It will always be directed opposite your direction of motion, yung frictional force, okay? So, pag masyadong malakas yung friction, eh, syempre, mahirap. Mahirap yung, yung uh, pag-move. Let's say, for example, you are moving out of your home, lilipat ka ng bahay, meron ka mga balik bayan boxes, nilagay mo yung mga gamit mo doon, okay? So, you will be pushing your balik bayan box na heavy, full of stuff, okay? Uh, outside, kasi mag-move ka na, eh. But what if yung what if yung floor mo is very rough and rugged? <laughs> so, mataas yung friction nun. Okay, so what's interesting though is that, okay, the first time, I mean, okay, naka-set naka lang yung, 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 yung box na yan, okay? Now, the first time you, you make an effort to move it, okay, ang nangyari is that it's, it's so hard, right? But once you've moved it a little bit, okay, once na, na, mm, na overcome mo lang yung initial na static friction, Okay, what happens is that it, it begins to move and it will be easier to keep it moving. To, to, it will be easier for you to push it and to keep it moving. Okay? Kasi, ito kasi yun. Sa physics na formula, meron tayong dalawa. 
Okay, meron tayong uh, formula for the calculating the static friction and formula for calculating the kinetic friction. Yung static friction, mas mataas siya. Mas, mas mataas siya, that means mas mahirap siya i-overcome. You will need a greater force in order to overcome that static friction. On the other hand, yung kinetic friction, lower siya kaysa sa static friction. Kinetic, kinetic, okay, nag-move na siya. Okay, dynamic friction then is how others refer to it. Now, yung static friction, yung coefficient of static friction is always greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction, okay, in any given pair of surfaces. So, what does that imply? Haha, <laughs> eto na pala yun. If your client is already moving, if your prospect, prospect, may prospecting ka pa, no? Nag evaluate ka pa if you want to work with this person. If that prospect of yours is already moving, nakaka experience na, na ng traction, ng success sa kanilang business, okay, it will be easier to help them than to help someone who's still starting out. Na hindi pa nga sila nakaka move because the coefficient of static friction is greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction. Okay, it will always be easier. To push, to continue to push a box that's already moving, than to push a box na hindi pa anjam pa na stuck pa sa floor, stuck pa jan sa kanyang starting point. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is this. Wala, yun lang. Nasabi ko na kanina, but only thing pa lang. Again, choose clients who are already there, nagmumove na sila, they're experiencing success na, a level of success, so that you can just. You know, you can live uh, an easier, a comparatively easier freelancing life. Okay, wag mo nang pahirapan yung sarili mo. <laughs> okay, so yun, yun yung biggest takeaway ko. So I, I love, I love it when I can, you know, link things with physics principles. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this also. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So what else would I say? Takeaway, no, not takeaway. Nandito na tayo sa action plan, lol. <laughs> the action step for tonight, for tonight na. Is that okay? Uh, <laughs> ko ng linchpins na accountability call and part of the linchpins ng the freelance movement tribe under kay Mark Allen ng Gold Diggers. Uh, I mean, si, si Coach Mark Allen, yung pinaka coach ng Gold Diggers. And then we got the Aliza, Russell, and Moki for the linchpins. But ko kasi nasab. But anyway, yeah, I'll attend. Because uh, this will be the rare time sa mga attend ako ng Bo, I think, because baka next week. Dahil dun sa client na nakausap ko last time, uh, we might be having meetings uh, sa gabi sa EST na time zone. Anyway, thank you so much! Nga pala, gusto ko lang i-share din ng win na uh, 3x po yung deal ko na nakuha. <laughs> 3x po sa... Saan tawag dyan? Sa enrollment dito sa PCBM. More than 3 times actually. It's gonna be monthly, o oh, diba? So yeah, yay, yay. Okay, so thank you so much, Chad. Thank you so much for all the learnings that you have been sharing with us. Thank you for being our guide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guide. <laughs> thank you so much also for PSBM people, our classmates here for always cheering Dito and uh, encouraging one another. So let's go for it, Mami Bigan. If that's a day 24 din kayo, let's go for it. Let's finish it strong. Let's push it through the finish line. All right? Kasi, kasi nga, we're already moving, so mas madali na lang. <laughs> Wag tayong hihinto. Kasi pag nakahinto tayo, again, it will be inertia it will be harder for us to move again okay so let's move all right so thank you so much let's go for it let's see you in the next video bye, -bye!